Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video. I'm the last Wander, and today we've Snapshot 22W42A, which brings all the new features shown in Minecraft Live, including a new mob and three categories of new blocks. Something important to know about this snapshot is it's actually a snapshot for 1.19.3. In order to enable the new 1.20 features, you'll have to go into your data packs and add in this one. It'll be pre-installed, don't worry, so you don't have to download anything. All you have to do is click it over, click done, proceed, and then create your world, and you can mess around with all the new 1.20 features. Now, onto the new features. As I mentioned before, there's three categories of new blocks. The first of which you can get from bamboo. All you have to do is get some bamboo, and then in a crafting table, you can make the new bamboo planks. From there, you can craft the bamboo planks into all the other types of bamboo wood, like you could with other wood. But there's a few exceptions. First, there's this new block called bamboo mosaic, which also has a stair and slab form. You craft this with two bamboo slabs. A second small difference is with the bamboo raft. First of all, it's called a raft and not a boat. But second of all, you actually sit higher in a raft. Here I am sitting in a boat, noticeably below these blocks. But if I get into this bamboo raft, my height is much higher. So, bamboo raft kind of makes you a bigger target for skeletons. Oh, and despite the fact that it's called a raft and looks like this, you still craft it like a normal boat. Kind of weird. The new bamboo planks means we can now turn bamboo into things like chests. Though, be warned, this gets quite expensive. One stack of chests requires 32 stacks of bamboo. Beyond that, bamboo wood is mostly just a decorational block. But we can finally make tiki torches, so I'm not complaining. On to the second new category of block, we've got hanging signs. Six of these can be crafted with six stripped logs and two chain. Except for the bamboo hanging signs, since there is no stripped bamboo, for those you just use normal bamboo planks. These new hanging signs can be attached to both the side and bottom of a block, though not the top. Also, if you hold shift when placing them, the chains will be attached to the center of the block. This also stands true, you just try to attach it to a really thin block, like a chain. Now, these signs will break if you remove their supporting block, unless they were hung from the side of a block. Then they'll remain floating. The last thing to know about the new hanging signs is that they work a lot like regular signs. Except, instead of getting 16 characters of text per line, you only get 8. Though, you still get 4 lines of text. And, just like a regular sign, you can dye the text and make it glow. And, our final category of new block is really just a single block, the chiseled bookshelf, which can be crafted with six planks and three slabs. Now, the chiseled bookshelf works by allowing you to put in books, enchanted books, book and quills, and written books, up to six total, and any combination of those. Once it's full, you can pull out the last book, which will always be the last book you inserted. Because the chisel bookshelf can store items, that makes it a redstone component. But not a very good one. Each time I put in an item, it looks like it's detecting how full the chiseled bookshelf is. Uh, but that's not what it's doing at all. Instead, it's detecting the last book slot you interacted with. So if I pull all these out, the redstone signal strength is still 1, and that's because I pulled out the first book last. If I add in a new book, it won't change, but now, since I'll now interact with the second slot of the bookshelf, it'll go up, and then it'll just keep going up. This seems cool, but you can only ever interact with the last book you placed in. I can't, for instance, take out the first book I placed in. Which means, this is just really frustrating, and not a well-designed redstone component. This makes it so, if you want, for instance, a redstone contraption to activate when you pull out a book, you don't have to just pull out one book, you have to pull out two, in order for that to be detected. 
Fortunately though, we can kind of circumvent this problem because the observer can also detect the changes and it'll detect each book being added in and each book being taken out. So we can kind of do something with this. Right here, I've got a secret library door. If I pull out a book, it'll open. Then I can just put the book back in order to close it. Pretty cool contraption and it's relatively simple to make. We just have an observer right behind this bookshelf here. Then it goes into a block that'll power these two sticky pistons when they're here, another observer here, and one here to detect that observer, then three dust, a note block, which this observer detects, so that the pistons will shoot their blocks out when they're being pushed back into place. Unfortunately though, this also triggers when you remove another book, and then triggers again, and then triggers again. So it's not the best designed, it would work better with a comparator, but the aforementioned problems doesn't make that a good solution either. And unfortunately, the chiseled bookshelf also has some more issues. Since it's a block entity, you can't push it, which will be all right if it could interact with hoppers. But, um, it can't. So please, Moyen, please fix this block. It's not a good redstone component. Though, it is a cool decorational block. I'll give it that. The final big new feature in this snapshot is the new mob, the camel. These mobs can be found in desert villages. So if I just teleport to one, I'll show you where you can find them. They're always found in the village center. Here's a camel and it's kind of glitching into the well. Once you find one, you can put on a saddle and then immediately ride it. You don't need to tame it. Camels have two speed, their normal speed and their sprinting speed, though they also do have a special dash move. If you hold down the space bar and then let go, the camel will dash. This also allows it to clear gaps. This is kind of like how a horse can jump, though the camel doesn't actually go much higher when it dashes. Using a camel's dash, you can clear large crevasses that a horse could not and a camel can walk over a fence, but they have no way of clearing a two block high wall. Something else worth noting about the camel's dash attack is that once you use it, the camel can't dash again or sprint for a few seconds. The camel is also tall enough that zombies and husks and similar mobs cannot attack you from below. But this means the camel which is three blocks in height, can't clear two block tall gaps. They require three blocks of clearance in order to get through, and they can't sprint while underneath a gap of three blocks. When you aren't running around with your camel, you can occasionally find them laying down. Once you get back on though, they'll rise back up. Now, camels are pretty rare. You'll only ever find one per desert village, so you want to breed them up. Just get two camels together with cactus, feed them, and then they'll breed, producing a baby camel. This guy here, and you can speed up his growth by giving him cactus, though I'm not going to wait the whole time for him to grow up. The last thing to know about camels is that they have space for two players to ride, though other entities will not ride as well. And that's all I've got for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Since we just got all the new features from Minecraft Live, we don't actually know what's going to be in the rest of this 1.20 update besides the sniffer. So stay tuned to check out the new surprise features that will be coming along the way. Thanks for watching again and goodbye. Thanks to the new bamboo planks, we now have a new least efficient way of crafting sticks. Instead of crafting 32 sticks like this, I can instead craft 16 bamboo planks and then turn those into 32 sticks like that. Yay, more complicated.